Well, uh, welcome into a, a Sunday sermon. And as you may or may not know, uh, uh, Sunday sermon, every Sunday, uh, we uh, go into the uh, United Independent Com Com Compensatory Co-System Concept book. It's a compensatory counter-racist code by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Right now I have the uh, 2016 uh, revised expanded edition. That's what I read out of, you know. Yeah, it, 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 the reason why this is a Sunday sermon is because what I do is uh, every Sunday, I <laughs> this is my scripture. <laughs> this is, you know, like Sunday sermon, you have the, the preacher, whoever, the priest, the, the whoever, the imam, whoever, they, they be, you know, waxing and nobody answered them, you know. So, hey, well, I don't know if they had, look, they be waxing out of this, out of the scripture. This is, so this is my scripture. Don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, uh, actually, every morning. I read from uh, the New Testament from the uh, from the from, from the Gullah, but that's that's what that is. But this is the this is sermon from the the ultimate preacher. <laughs> he wouldn't call himself that. Uh, so today, actually, I, I'm dealing with religion. I'm dealing with religion because uh, I was I went to the library last week and I picked up this book. Uh, so just a regular old uh, thriller whatever book, and I like thrillers, large print, is David uh, um, Baldacci, I always say Balducci, but it doesn't matter, uh, The Long Road of Mercy to Mercy, I, I just couldn't get into it, so I'm not going to do it, but I think the book I am going to read is the book that I got uh, this year, last year, whenever it was, uh, Getting to the Promised Land, it's the Black America and the Unfinished Work of the Civil Rights Movement, I'm not really into the Civil Rights Movement, and it's uh, by Dr. Kevin Cosby, and it's a forward by a uh, Cornell West, Dr. Cornell West. So this is this is the book right here. So um, so I think I'll read this book this week. I make I don't know if I get back to the Baldacci. Uh, I have no idea because I just uh, you know it's the first thing you know it's got this whole thing with the female empowerment and the, the, the female heroes and that. Hey, did you see Zoe Kravitz in uh, the Batman? I really like her in the Batman. Uh, you know everybody's comparing Batman. To, they trying to say, well, is this the best Batman or the, the Catwoman? All these comparisons. No, but you're idiots. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean that. I, I'm, I'm according to Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., I shouldn't be calling anybody any names. You know, you don't call anybody any names except the name they want to be called. Let me put it this way you can't compare anything. In fact, I saw there's one cat I saw on the internet, and he, he put it up perfectly well. This is the Batman that, um, that th it's about the Batman. All the other films have been about the, the villains, they're swarming about the Batman and whatever reaction or that 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 Bruce Wayne. The, the, but, but this is about the Batman. I don't know why I went off on that. Let me get back, let me get to our, our Sunday sermon. But they do that. Don't don't the preachers do that? They talk about something current, you know, you know. So yeah, if I was doing the Christian thing, you know, if I was doing the I guess this is he's a liberation theologist, I would say. I would do my sermon on a Batman and talk about, yeah, this is the Batman that we want to talk about. You know, this is the guy that's not quite sure, you know, but he, but he's doing the digital, you know, I'll do a thing around that. I guess preachers all over. This is a Sunday. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go to um, the, uh, area seven um, this, of um, the human activities. And this is uh, on page uh, 263. It's like, I'm going to read the whole, it's just questions and answers. I'm going to read two pages from this, I think. Uh, so, let us begin. <clears throat> when someone asks you if you believe in God, etc., answer by saying, only God knows, and only God is qualified to tell. Next one. These are instructions, I guess. This is Miss Neely Fuller Jr. doing the instructions. When someone um, tells you that he or she believes in God, ask him or her, why are you telling me? Sorry, I, I shouldn't laugh up these things. When someone tells you that he or she does not believe in God, ask him or her, why are you telling me? <laughs> I'm sorry, I got Hey, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., if you really get into it, he's hilarious. Oh, okay. um, and then he has a note after that one. During the exist during the during the existence 
Oh, oh, oh um, during the existence of white supremacy, right, that's, that is racism, uh, many white supremacists, uh, racist men and racist women collectively, um, sometimes speak and or act as if God, etc., and themselves are one and the same. It's just an observation. It's just a note. Okay. Okay. Next section. Here. These are questions. Uh, uh, question. Are white people devils? Or non-white uh, people devils? Answer. The only people who can recognize a devil are people who can recognize a god. Uh, uh, who are the people who can recognize a god? The people who do. <laughs> That's the answer. Question. Who are they? Answer. God only knows. Okay. That's enough entertainment. Let's get to some serious part here. Well, they're all serious, I guess. When a person asks you to talk about his or her religion for spirit or, or spiritualism, right? Uh, ask him or her the following. There are Eight questions, okay. Question one. What is the name, the title of your religion? Like, for instance, uh, Mr. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has uh, said he's an eclectic pluralist, you know. That's what I am. But I can't, but I'm using his words only because I used to say I was a deist, but, you know, that certain things. Go, do, 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 do. As an eclectic pluralist, I, I, I can basically go to any, any, any religious, any spiritual gathering, I can, I can hang out. I can't, but according to um, and to according to my uh, Yoruba uh, readings, I, I really can't belong to any religion. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, that's just me. I'm sorry. I shouldn't check myself in there, but that's I had to. Two. What does your religion or spiritualism require you to do in all areas of activity, including economics, education, entertainment? Labor, law, politics, religion, uh, and that's, he says the religions of another person, sex, and war, counter war. So what does your religion or spiritualism require you to do in, in the area of economics? What does your religion say about economics? What does your religion require you to do in the area of education? What does it say about education? What does your religion, in the area of entertainment? No. What is your religion? What, to, to law. Uh, uh, to, to, what is it to labor? What is it to politics? Religion. Sex. You know? War, counter war. You know, you know, you have these, you have uh, religious people go in, into war and they, they, they bless the troops. That's their, their religion record. Let, let them do that. Of course, never mind. Number three. What does your religion or spiritualism require you to do in regards to me? This is a question. In all my interaction with you and in all areas of activity. What does your require to you? Yes, you see? Okay. Number four. Can any person be a member of and or be part of your religion? Can anybody do that? If so, how? What? If not, why not? These are just logical questions, okay? Are you doing your best to have all people be members of and or be part of your religion? If so, how? If not, why not? Six. Should all persons who are interested in supporting your religion do the exact same thing that you do in each area of activity. Those are those areas of activity, right? If not, why not? Number seven. Does your religion or spiritualism require that you at all times speak and or act to replace white supremacy, which of course is racism, with justice, which is a balance between pe people, in all areas of activity? If not, why not? And number eight, the question number eight under this uh, section of religion, under this uh, more question things. 
Should I expect you to practice all of the requirements of your religion and or spiritualism at all times? If not, why not? You know, when you jump in and out, of it, can you do that? You see? Uh, note. There's a note at the end of this section here. It may, uh, it may uh, best, oh, it may be, or no, it may best help to minimize conflict and/or misunderstanding in, uh, resulting from personal discussions about religion uh, or spiritualism by limiting all personal discussions about religion to the aforementioned questions, particularly the first three questions. Oh, let's see what the first three questions are again. First three, the you know, what is the name of your religion, right? What does your religion and your spiritual religion require, uh, require uh, you to do in all areas of activity that includes economics, education, entertainment, law, uh, labor, politics, religion, and uh, uh, sex, and of course, war, counter war. And number three, what does your religion or spiritual religion require you to do in regards to me in all the uh, interactions with you in all areas of activity, the aforementioned activities? Aforementioned, I like that. So that's that's the sermon for today, for this uh, this Sunday sermon. Now, I mentioned that 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 that, that it's kind of interesting because a lot of stuff that Miss Neely Junior uh, does, I've come to at some particular point. You know, I've come to that kind of thing. You know, including um, uh, how to what to do. Just this look. The best way to deal with Miss Neely Fuller Junior is to actually just listen to a woman. On Tuesdays, you know, well, I, I download it. I, I listen. I, I take the, the, the thing that he does uh, for, uh, what, what is it? Well, the, for, go to his website, uh, uh, producejustice.com, and, you know, whatever. But I get it off the internet. And then I usually, when I do my Sunday morning walk, that's when I, I listen to it because I, Sunday evening is the sermon. That's what we just what we just had. Uh, but it's also interesting with uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. because a lot of stuff, there's two things you have to. I think we have to know about Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Right? One, when he talks about uh, uh, logic, uh, asking logic questions and answers, but that's a, what's the, the. I guess they call it a Socratic thing of over Socrates. But you know, Socrates got it from some Africans. You know, we won't get into all that right now. But just he just admits, he says all all things can be done through question and answers. And in the Western world, they named that after. Well, that's what that is, right? And the other thing that's sort of interesting is is this whole thing about justice. You know. And if you if you go again if you go to Christian root uh, the Christian root then uh, sorry the Christian root <laughs> I love my girl about I read every morning uh, uh, then it's like that the commandment says do unto others as you, as you would have them do unto you in other words if you if 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 you don't want to be killed don't kill nobody <laughs> if you don't want to be stolen from don't steal. You, you see, it just, it's just a sort of weird logic. And those two things, I think, is basically what Mr. Nilly Fuller Jr. is saying. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I'm, now I'm interpreting kind of, kind of things like that. So, uh, I mean, I just want you to... Uh, uh, first of all, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to say one other thing I've been doing. I've been doing this for a while, actually. Uh, but I've been doing it more. When I come across a post, like, an uh, in the internet, whatever have you, you know how people, they, 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 they like the beef. It's like a lot of internet beefs. So right here. No, but but what I do is uh, I'll say something, you know, I'll be concise. I'll be because when I write, I'm concise. When I talk, I just ramble. Oh, poor y'all for listening to me. Uh, but when I write, I'm pretty concise. You know, sometimes I I, I write. I, I'm dense. I mean, like really, you gotta say. Well, you, I'm very precise. You know, I'm very dense. A dense it's called dense pack, right? But. Uh, what I do now is I, if I uh, comment on social media, like like an Instagram post or, or something I see on, or, you know, through YouTube or something like that, I'll say something, right? And then if it's appropriate, I'll put in uh, parentheses, I'll put in, or not parentheses, we call it, yeah, brackets, I'll put in producejustice.com. I put capital P, are you, uh, you know, right? Capital J, you know, you know CZ. Dot com. So I have the capital P. So you can see it's produced. Us. And it, it will highlight it so you can go to the website. So I'm suggesting, maybe I should call. Or maybe I call in suggest this, right? As a VGQ. Who knows? So I'll, I'll think about it. Um, uh, it. It just seems to me like 
instead of you trying to, uh, uh, from making a point, right, that, and, and it's about justice, it's about black people, it's about racism, then I'll, I'll put in, I'll just put that in there. And then people might get curious, they might click on it, go to Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s tone, you know, the United Independent Compensatory Code System concept, can, uh, compensatory counter-racist code, as Mr. Neely Fuller just replies, uh, 2016 uh, edition. I have the, I have the uh, 1984 edition, but it's, down in Africa right now, it's, it's bound. And, and, um, when I get back there, I'll, I'll continue my Sunday sermons and I'll, I'll use that to see that. Um, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, which is why, now if you're not a victim, this Miss Ms. Neely Fuller Jr. will tell you, if you're not a victim, the book ain't for you. Right? <laughs> Just not for you. So leave it alone. You know, don't, 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 don't worry about it, right? Uh, so that's it. Um, uh, for this for for this week, uh, I did have one other thing, but uh, I'm gonna leave it alone. Oh, maybe next week, maybe uh, some other time when I see you. That way, I can you know tell you that is for me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Well, let me drink this. Oh, I got some uh, tea here. Yeah, I think it's uh, either it's uh, breathe easy or. Sp- or something, uh, a throat coat. Yeah, let me drink that. Check your later.